Worthing FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a two-all draw with Slough in the National League South. Adam, your thoughts on the game? Um, yes, uh, it's another team that's come to our place and going to be very happy leaving with a point in my opinion. Um, can't create the amount of chances that we've created today. Um, and yeah, just didn't show the same effort and desire. I know it's a completely different game to Dulwich. We had a lot more of the ball. You know, our possession would probably be 60% or whatever compared to, I think Dulwich had more of the ball. So maybe it's easier to get in a, a shape and, and defend with a bit more grit. Um, but yeah, ultimately um, you come away uh, having missed countless, countless chances. Um, and yeah, we've got to do something about it because I'm not going to accept for for the fans, for, for myself, for the club, um, for everybody, um, and just keep on watching it and let it happen. Um, got to make some changes and there will be some changes um, happening this week. There were goals in the game and we did score two, which is the first time in a few weeks we have done that. Is that just from the amount of chances or was it the quality of chances? Yeah, amount of chances, quality of chances. I think Ollie's had a header at the far post, um, at the near post um, late on. Um, I think there was ones inside the six-yard box, and I just think the top teams at our level in the top seven they take these chances and, and put the game to bed, and you know that's what we need to stop doing. Is it a positive that we're creating these chances though? Is there anything to be taken? Yeah, from? I think like compared to recent weeks, the games have been a lot tighter. We obviously created a lot more, um, which is a positive. Um, but like seven draws is that now from 15 games? Um, so it shows that we're a tough team to play against but I'm never going to accept being a tough team to play against you know I've been used to winning and want, want to more of that and that's what I want to demand from from the players and um, I think everyone um, apart from maybe Adam Adam has had a start and had an opportunity to show what they can do there's been a lot of players been given an opportunity at this level that they haven't been given before um, and some of them just simply you know not taking it so we've, we've got to look at it. Speaking of opportunities and being a little bit difficult to play against, Joe Ryan and Luca Cocoraccio will talk about that really young defence on Tuesday. Although they did concede two today, thought they were excellent again today. How good is that for you? Promising is it that you've got young players who have taken that chance? Is that no, that's it. Yeah, there will be um, players within that that get an opportunity and take it. And yeah, I feel like Joe Ryan arguably been our best player uh, consistent, oh, consistently over a number of games. Um, I think a little. Um, blip with one or two games and maybe dented his confidence but to come back and show the character that he's played that he showed playing out of position maybe at right back um, you know he's been been exceptional for a lad of his age and you know that's what you ask what you ask is um, you know the players to take their opportunity when they get it and you know Joe's certainly done that and yeah Luca's come back in and run a three games now and, and done really well um, so yeah another one that's that's all you can ask um, you know, you get the opportunity and you try and grab it and take it and you know, there's, we need a few more um, players doing that. We've chatted about momentum before and the next game's coming up pretty quick here again at Woodside on Tuesday night. Coming off of this game, obviously you're disappointed to have not won it again today, but what were the positives that have come from this game? Do you think that can be carried into Tuesday and something better on Tuesday? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be very surprised if we have the amount of chances that we have. Um, you know, on Tuesday night um, that we've had today. So, yeah, completely different test, different game. Um, you know, just just our, our shooting first half from outside the box. Like we, I think, probably had about five or six shots from outside the box, and only two gone on target. Uh, their lad has one, hits the inside of the post, and then when they get the rebound, um, you know, and that's just the level we're playing at. We've got to, we've got to demand more from ourselves. Um, you know, us as a coaching staff and as a group of players, you know, seeing average performances can't be good enough. We've got to demand more, uh, and that's going to be the demands set upon all of us. We've got to start demanding more, and that's what we want to see on Tuesday. You were in a difficult position today, a few players injured, um, obviously missing out on Harrison Mel, so it was a massive loss, been ever present in the team. How do you feel Serco yeah. got on today, or are we going to be looking for other options in the week? Oh, yeah, Alan did away, he's trained with us. Um, you know, probably lucky to be on the pitch, maybe. Uh, I think we had enough bodies back there um, to deal with it and the early decision. Um, but yeah, I thought he grew into the game. Some of his kicking, um, you know, he's got to try and keep on the pitch for us at times. But you know, you can't you can't fault him today. Um, you know, Lou's come in. He's again another one given an opportunity, playing at this kind of level. Um, and you know, 
uh, went past any blame on him. I think it was an average game. I wouldn't say he was outstanding. And like I say, we've got to demand more from all, everybody. Everyone that comes in and represents Worthing, we can't accept average. And uh, you know, I think we're seeing average performances from, from some players on a regular basis, which we've, we've got to start changing. Who do you think stood out today? Um, yeah, just the lads that you said already. Uh, Joe Ryan, I thought was was excellent again. Um, you know, really aggressive. Um, probably a most dominant um, defender in the air, and you know he's on the front foot all the time. And um, you know, I'd like to like to see that. Um, you know, and you know, Miki obviously got man the match, worked hard, got in some good areas. Um, but again, Miki, you know, how many goals, how many assists have we got now from a player that's played a lot of games? Um, you know, so that'd be. Interesting to see. I'm not one that solely focus on stats, but you know some of them got to get their stats up a little bit better than, than what they're showing. Um, but like I say, not one to hide behind injuries. But I look around the change room today, and you've got Harrison, James Beresford, Joe Wright, Lewis White, Aaron Racine, um, all with their tracksuits on, um, and that's a that's a massive miss to any team at this level, I believe. Um, so you know that is a huge blow. But like I say, this opportunities for other players you know don't what you want is your players to go I'm not going to let them have an easy ride and an easy way back in when they get an opportunity and I don't think enough players took that opportunity today. Danny Barker went off injured quite early on today is there any update on him and what he what might be up No to? yeah just his hamstring and you know I've been quite good with Danny I think I haven't played him Saturday Tuesday too many times um, you know, he didn't play Saturday, come in, done really well Tuesday, deservedly gets a back-to-back -back start and then, you know, feels something in his hamstring. So, yeah, it's just, again, like we spoke about, it's having players that can do that. Uh, Kane Wills can run Tuesday, can run Saturday, can run again on Tuesday. And how many of them have we got nowhere near enough for this stage of the season? Um, so it's definitely something we've got to address moving forward. Um, I say I try not to be do more gloom, but obviously disappointed. I think that's now five games that we've we've ultimately dropped points, um, and you know that's ten points that you've dropped. It's it's a lot of points um, when you've had a lot of the ball and had a lot of chances. Um, and like I say, you know we've got got to do something about it, um, and we will. Well, all the best for Tuesday, Adam. Hopefully, it'll be better. And yeah, thanks for your time. Cheers, Adam. Thanks, mate.